awesome boy. Well, here's my fun. Now we're gonna go get my go. EPTV is brought to you by the United States Army and these other great partners. Lee Lancaster State Farm Insurance, Cabela's, Matthews, Archery Unlimited, Rage, Nocturnal, West Michigan Whitecaps, Scentlock, Buck Fever Synthetics, Horny Buck Seed, Outdoor Edge, Lone Wolf, Arrow Waste, True Fire, IQ Bow Sights, Carbon Express Arrows, Rocky Mountain Crossbows, Michigan Outdoor Properties, Attics Gear, Bone Fever, Hunter's Safety System, Fourth Arrow, Shooter 3D Targets, Tacticam, Daniel Sport Fishing, Tagged Out Outfitters, Finding Your Perfect Hut, Taxidermy provided by Tall Tines Taxidermy, Website provided by BlueVortex.net. Hey, how's it going everyone? Mike Endress here for EP Adventures. It's the first day of fall. We got all kinds of deer coming into our, uh, our spots, showing up on the trail cam, including a lot of bucks. But so we're all waiting for that, uh, the first day of bow season where we can get out and get them. Um, it's 84 degrees today. I'm in a wetsuit. I'm gonna go into the lake and do a little fishing today. I've already been in the water. It's, it's actually really nice. So we're having kind of a warm beginning to fall and I'm gonna take advantage of it and see if I can't get some fish on shore. All right, let's get in the water.
It was mostly catch and release out there, but there are a couple things I'm gonna bring home. I'm gonna make myself some lunch. And I, uh, I found a pocket knife out there. That's pretty cool. But uh, I'm ready for, uh, for some venison. We choose buck fever synthetics and uh, we choose it for many reasons. It never spoils. Rain actually makes the product kick in the gear again and it starts all over again. We've just had nothing but good luck from it. I mean, look at our footage. Look at how the bucks react to it. Buck fever synthetics turns your hunting area into a playground for bucks and it will last all year long. So get your buck fever synthetics and visit them at buckfeverusa.com. I am Frank Russ from Archery Unlimited, Grand Rapids, Michigan. We got all the accessories in stock. Our biggest thing is probably the service work we do on bows. We have archery leagues every night of the week. We're hunters serving hunters, without a doubt. It's the shop that we trust. It's the shop that we've known since we were kids, and now we're passing it down to our kids. Let Archery Unlimited take care of your bows. Let Archery Unlimited take care of you as a hunter. There's no feeling like it when you've prepped the gear, done the research, found the spot, nailed the presentation, and now there's only one thing left to do. It's hook set season. So gear up and start your season at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. This is more than a bundle. It's more than a combo deal. It's not just stuff. This is your home, your car, and you want to give them the protection they deserve with home and auto insurance. State Farm agents get it. It's why they're here. Talk to State Farm agent Lee Lancaster today. Hey guys, Mike and Gina here. Uh, we want to talk to you guys today about how we're going to use our Tacticams and a little bit about the product. Okay, so Gina's got the 4.0 um, camera on her bow, and that, that camera is really all that you would need for if you're just doing it to show your friends or family and you want to have it just to, for a reference to look back at possibly where you hit a deer, you know, to make sure you hit a good shot. That one camera will do all you need to do. You turn it on manually, you hit the button, it turns on, it's a one push system, and you can follow the deer. We'll kind of show Gina how this is how we do it. So uh, when you first see the deer, you're going to want to turn on the camera. You hit the button, it's two vibrates, it starts recording. And from that point, what you're going to want to do with it is you're going to just want to turn your wrist so you don't have a whole lot of movement and you're just going to take that camera and you're going to point it and follow that deer in. You can turn your wrist and follow them in. And when they get ready to come in, what you're going to want to do, like what Gina will do here, when you draw, you try and keep that, that camera pointed right straight at the deer and have a nice smooth draw and you're keeping footage all the time. Perfect, just like that. And then when you're going to want to shoot the deer, you're going to want to squeeze the trigger and hold your follow through and watch that arrow go out of the boat, just like that, perfect. And the deer runs, and then Gina is now going to follow that deer run off, and then you got full footage of the whole hunt. Yo.
Y'all, y'all ready for this? Uh, yeah. Now you see how the 4.0 works. Uh, Gina gave a good demonstration on that, and uh, that that one camera is going to do all you really need it to do. But if you do want to get really creative, they have a new system out. Um, even if you just do still want to run one camera, the uh, the new 5.0s have a remote system. Uh, these things are awesome. You can run up to five cameras with these at one time, so it'll sync itself to all five cameras, and you can kind of see what I've got going on here. I have one on the front of my bow. Um, which once I hit my record button, boom, I have five cameras going all at one time if I want to take that many. It'll do one, two, three, four, up to five cameras. Um, I'll have a wide 2.0 or 5.0 on the front of the bow riser here pointed back at me to film my angle. Um, I will have this camera on the front of the bow and I will be filming with my wrist, filming the pre-roll of the deer walking in, so I'll have that footage. And then as I draw, I may end up moving my bow a little bit, but as I come and hit full draw, I've got this camera on the deer, I've got this camera at full draw on the deer, so I've got multiple angles. If one happens to not be on the deer when you need it to be, you've got several different angles to go back to. So uh, another uh, camera angle that we're going to run also, we put one back um, maybe on a scrape um, on a main runway, put it back so it's not going to get smelled by the animal, put it up in a tree, there's plenty of mounts. And you can put it anywhere you want and you hit that button and it's going to be pointing and you got wide angle views all the way around you. Um, so really, it's, it's like having five cameramen in the tree with you at one time. It's really, really awesome. So uh, I'll do a little example here on how we'll do this one. Uh, pretty much, I'm going to hit the button. Uh, hit the button. All five cameras turn on. It's got a nice little LED screen on it. It says on, and it tells you when it's recording and how many seconds you're into your footage. Um, one button clicks to uh, pause it. It'll sit there for you. If you need to re-record again, hit the button again, and it goes right back to recording. Uh, to turn it off, you pause it, it, it vibrates and goes to pause mode, you push the button down, hold it for a few seconds, it vibrates and turns off and it's done. And then you're done with your footage and you've got all your angles on, off, and you never got caught moving, turning on multiple cameras, which that's what the remote really comes in handy for, a lot less movement with this. You hit one button and then you're in game mode and you got all these cameras recording. So here's a little shot, we'll do this one here, uh, I'll hit the button, we'll get it recording, and then we'll uh, do a shot here. You can see a few of the different angles we've got. You can see the one down by the camera there, or down by the deer as well. And then at that point, you're gonna have you know, this angle you're gonna follow the deer run off, but this is gonna get your footage as the deer runs away. And when you're at full draw, this angle's right down the side of your bow, and you've got really good non-shock footage off the side of your head as well, so. You can get as creative as you want with them, guys. We used some turkey hunting, and it was really sweet. We had some cool footage up, up on hills above us. It looked like drones filming us, and so. These tactic cams are very, very cool. You guys should go check them out. Share your hunt, guys. Film your next hunt with the Tacticam 5.0 point of view camera. 4K footage. Add the FPS adapter to film exactly what you see through your rifle or crossbow scope. Tacticam. 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 If you want to grow a healthy deer herd and big bucks, let's face it, you're going to need to plant a food plot. The success of your season is in the seed. Do you know what you're putting in the ground? Unlike other seeds, here at Horny Buck Seed, we guarantee the freshest, uncoated seed on the market. I've been watching that deer for three years. Like, just kill him. Just kill him. <gasps> Look at that giant.
the all-new Universal Fit Lighted Knox from Nocturnal, designed to fit most arrows. This system eliminates the need to choose different knock sizes. Select the correct bushing, slide it into the arrow shaft, and insert the high-visibility LED knock. Available in red, green, and red-green strobing, lightweight and durable, with the same bowstring activated linear switch you've come to know and trust. Nocturnal. Switch on accuracy. When it's your child, your hunter safety system takes on a whole new meaning. The new reflective lifeline keeps you secure at all times, even in the darkest woods. Don't worry, Dad. We'll take it from here. It's easy on the range to feel good at 20, 30, 40 yards. But in the field, when it all matters, nothing gives an archer more confidence than an accurately defined target. The freedom to focus on the target and make an intelligent, accurate shot with just the push of a button. Introducing the Define Rangefinder Sight by IQ. How do you define success? All right, guys, we uh, are out here tonight with the Predator Recurves. So we got Carbon Express arrows and uh, we got the Flu Flus. And we're gonna have some fun because we got a little bit of pheasant hunt we're gonna do this fall. The best way to practice, skeet. We're gonna let them fly. If we can hit a skeet, if I hit one, I'm happy. If I hit one tonight, I'll be happy, just one. If I come close Shane's to one, I'll be happy. Yep. So we got Shane with us, we got Gina. Gina's gonna try to knock one down with her uh, Matthews. But we're gonna we're gonna get throwing and see how it goes. But it's a great night to get outside and should be fun. Let's see if we can do it. fun. Those Carbon Express flu flus are the way to go. Oh yeah. That is a lot of fun. I think the pheasants are in trouble. Oh yeah. Gina on the really Matthews and gonna we're gonna have fun. Good job. Well we're gonna go gather some arrows.
this quick because it's uh, opening day gun season and it's about to get good. Well guys, so the uh, the unfortunate happened, and this is something that you just gotta live with um, as a deer hunter, it's gonna happen. Um, I thought I hit this deer good, thought I smoked him, got down out of my stand, I looked for him for a good two hours, didn't find not one drip of blood, and a little over four weeks later, I get a call from the neighbor, who's roughly about, pushing a good thousand yards from where I shot him. Got a call, said, hey, does this buck look familiar? I said, it sure does, I got a picture of him, or I got him on video, so I'm glad that we found him, you know, and kind of wraps up the story about him, but it's just sad that, you know, I didn't get to take this trophy home and, you know, mount him on a wall or something. So it's just something that we, as hunters, gotta live with, and it's kind of disappointing and unfortunate, but it is what it is, we did recover him. He's a little stiff. As you can see, he's a real nice buck. But, I mean, it just is what it is. 